Do you need an acidic rinse to neutralize the pH of your carpet? Let's test it. It's well established in the science of carpet cleaning that you need to balance the pH of your stains with something on the opposite side of the pH scale. For example, if you're dealing with urine, it has a pH of 6, so you'll need to counteract that with a pre-spray that has a pH of around 8. This helps break the chemical bond that the stain has with the carpet fibers. Conventional wisdom is that you'll need to rinse your alkaline pre-spray out with an acidic rinse to leave the carpet in a neutral state. But today, we have the tools to put that theory to the test. We're going to compare the results of rinsing your pre-spray out with clean water versus an acidic rinse. First, we'll get some baseline data for the pure water rinse trial. The urine's pH is acidic at 5.82. The regular water's pH is neutral at 7.16 and the pre-spray's pH is alkaline at 8.03. We'll be simulating the carpet being stained with urine, so let's have a dribble on like it would in the real world. Verify that the carpet now has an acidic pH of 6. We're drying to simulate the passage of time. Now the technician has arrived and has pre-sprayed the carpet. Next agitated. And extracted with pure water. The pH after extracting with pure water is a neutral 7. To do my second trial with a solution tank full of an acidic rinse, I'm going to dilute it appropriately according to the manufacturer's specifications on the back of the bottle. I add it to my solution tank. And I run the pump to get rid of all that pure water that's still in the lines from the earlier trial. I get baseline data, finding the urine is acidic. The rinse is very acidic. And the pre-spray is alkaline. Once again, we simulate the carpet being soiled with urine. The passage of time. The technician arrives, pre sprays the carpet, agitates the fibers, and begins extraction. This time with an acidic rinse in the solution tank. Now we'll test the pH of the fibers with an acidic rinse being used. You'll notice that the tester continues to drop its pH rating. It's around 4.5 or maybe closer to 5 pH, still very acidic. You know, I'm kind of screwed on this one. I can't sell you an acidic rinse, just use tap water.